put y'all on the couch. But yeah, I still look pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's literally day two. I did some skincare, so I'm kind of glowing. But yeah, it's just been rough, y'all. Uh, tell me why, literally, I woke up from surgery, man. And a couple hours later, I looked at my girlfriend. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do, like, bottom surgery, like, phalloplasty. Because technically, this is bottom surgery, but I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But I'm not even going to think about that right now. And honestly, I was thinking about doing um, phalloplasty, like, pretty soon. Like, next year. What, next year? 2025? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. 2026, maybe. 2025, absolutely not. That's going to be my recovery year, for real. Um, maybe not even 2026. I don't know. I have to go. I have to see. I have to see. And I'm okay with that because like I'm not dying like I need it right now, but it's in the future. I know in my 30s I'm definitely gonna be using my my dang my dangalang. I want to have my own dangalang when I'm 30 something. Like I have my own dangalang right now, but I want like an extra. Anyways, that's just my time frame. But I feel like it's like it's hard to think about what you want to eat next when you're eating a whole meal and you're full. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. Like I cannot think about any more surgeries while I'm recovering from a surgery. So I'm also giving myself the grace with that. I don't want no surgery, bro. Not right now. Absolutely not. If you know, you know. Like once you go through a surgery, bro, you need to recover. I haven't done any surgery or anything since. It's low-key hot. I'm getting heat flashes. Oh yeah, heat flashes are a thing. So I started getting heat flashes yesterday. I did my T shot today. The heat flashes are not that bad today, but I'm getting one right now. Um, that's just your hormones balancing out. So like. Yeah, your hormones are kind of like, where are they kind of out all over the place, especially I just did my T-shot. My, my levels have to level out, if you will. <sighs> but yeah, I'm out of breath just talking to y'all, bro. Like, I've just been really on chill stuff. I've been laying down most of the day watching YouTube videos, just doing things like that, you feel me? So, yeah, so this is just anyone that wants to get this procedure, bro, you could do it, but just prepare yourself and make sure you have someone to care for you, especially if you have pets. I'm gassy. Pets or responsibilities, you need someone to be with you. Dang near 24-7. Um, bending down, lifting things, not going to happen. I can't even close my gate to... I can't close my gate. Pulling that is just doing too much. I cannot lift my dog. I can't lift my dog. Uh, can't really bend down and wipe his face. Can't clean him. Can't really feed him. Because I have to put his bowl on the floor, pick it up. It's not going to happen, especially like the first week. You know, this is like I'm fresh out. You feel me? Like it's not happening. You need someone to care for you. Um, I need help getting up. I needed someone to feed me, cook for me. Not feed me, but like just like cook for me. Like standing up and making food is not going to really be happening, especially on day one. Today's day two. I was starving, so I woke up and I made myself a smoothie. But like that's pretty minimal. Just a smoothie. But like standing over and cooking something, nah. Like it's it's a lot. Um, I would just say rest, 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 rest. Um, yeah, just rest. But I'm okay. That's basically what I wanted to get off and say to y'all right now is that I'm okay. I'm doing well. I'm gonna be okay. Um, but I'm definitely going through it. I cannot do anything. I haven't left my house today. Like, you know, I'm not really mobile. Kind of depressed, I think. I'm not depressed I know how to get through the post-surgery depression, but especially day one, you're just like, bruh. Like, when it hits you, the fact that, like, bruh, I'm gonna have to be on rest mode, for, like, this whole week. You know, week two, I might be able to at least, like, walk outside or, like, drive. I'm not even gonna be able to drive. So, it's just mentally preparing yourself and mentally accepting the fact that, like, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of things that you wanna, wanna do. It was a struggle to just water my plants outside right now. I had to, like shuffle to go to the backyard and yeah this is what it is though again this is day two i will update y'all on day three or four and let y'all know how i'm feeling but this is just day two so like ex don't expect to be tip-top shape able to do everything that you can do before surgery day one or day two and you need someone bro like especially if you have responsibilities even if you're by yourself bro just somebody to get you your medicine or something, get you a cup of water, like, you need somebody. Um, somebody's calling me. I'm gonna go. But yeah, love y'all. Thank y'all for caring about me. I'm good. See y'all in the next update. All right, y'all, was it good? It's like two in the morning right now. 
Today is October 7th, I think, but I had my surgery Wednesday. Today is sun Saturday night, Sunday morning. So it's been, today's day four slash five, uh, the end of day four. So day four, I honestly feel the best that I felt. Today, I didn't really need assistance doing anything. I was able to get up, do stuff. I cooked, went to the store. Well, I didn't drive. My mom drove me to the store. Um, I was able to grocery shop. All, only thing I didn't do was like lift the cases of water or lift like heavy bags. But if it's like 10 pounds around there, I can lift it. Like I can push a vacuum if I brace myself. Um, I can carry things that are like, yeah, 10 pounds or less. I can pick up my bunny. I can bend over. I can feed my dog. So really just day one and day two, I was like, it was not happening. Day three, I was like, meh. Like I felt like I could do stuff, but day four for real, I can like do stuff. Cause I literally cooked a meal, I fed my dog, did a bunch of stuff, I showered yesterday. Yeah, day three was like meh. But day one and two, don't expect to be doing anything. At least for me, like that's, that. I'm not telling you like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm telling you what my experience is based on my life and like my body and the state that I was in. I feel like I'm just a really active person as well. So my body's like ready to be active again. Like I would just wake up and like, you know, clean stuff. Um, also, my dog had fleas. Like out of all the times to get fleas, he got fleas. So I was like, I couldn't shower him. My girlfriend had to bathe him. But I was like checking him, cleaning him, washing his bed, washing his stuff. Yeah going to the store i went out i went out every single day since my surgery day one surgery i had to go to pet smart around 9 p.m so yeah that was rough uh day two i went out where do we go day two i went out to go get him a new bed and i went out to go to an ice cream spot with my girlfriend day three went out to go return something to the store and also just to get like fruit and stuff so i've been out every day today i went to trader joe's grocery shop stocked up so i've been doing stuff and i feel like you know I'm not telling you to be super active but for me that always works like even after top surgery i remember i like people would just tell me like everyone tells me like anesthesia does something to you like it just makes you different because like for top surgery bro i remember my stepmom bro she would tell me like like dang like this top surgery changed you because i would clean the entire house because i think it's because i'm in the house and like i'm not gonna go to the gym so cleaning the house is my gym like that's my workout like you know what I mean? That's the, that's just how I cope and heal, and it honestly helps me heal because my body's like, oh, we get into it. But I know my limits, though. Like, I'm gonna be cleaning the house, but I'm not gonna be, you know, hammering walls and carrying like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like super heavy stuff and like climbing ladders, like nah, chopping down trees, nah. But I will definitely water my plants. I will definitely wash my dishes, mop my floor. You know, what I'm saying a uh, sweep, vacuum, the rock. I'll do that but this, this is just me but yeah day four i honestly feel really good um another thing that i have been struggling with though is like using the restroom because on day three i didn't i don't think i hydrated enough which is honestly the big factor because i was like eating but i wasn't eating enough fiber and i wasn't hydrating enough and like you need those two to have like good bowel movements so i was constipated af yesterday and today i literally had to sit on the toilet i never the amount of food I eat and the veggies and just what I eat, I never am constipated. So constipation is something different and it's clearly from the fact that I just had surgery and I was on pain medication. Because the night before yesterday when I started feeling the constipation, I took a opioid pain pill because I had severe pain on the night of day two. So I woke up day three and I think it, it just all hit me like a freaking truck. I was like, I, I can't do this. Yeah, so I just like really gassy, really farty. You know those type of feelings like right now i just have pressure in that area like i need to take a fat dump like today <laughs> like earlier i did poop but it wasn't like the like a clear out you know what i'm saying my butthole hurts bro i ain't gonna lie i'm being real with y'all bro like my butthole hurts from just like stress and poop anyways so i went to trader joe's we got a bunch of fruit vegetables i had veggie pasta i had a salad what else then I drank juice, I had a smoothie, I drank a cup of chia seeds with water and lemon, yeah, I had a smoothie, wild blueberries, cherries, so I'm trying, it's just my body is just recovering and getting my digestive system back in track, and I'm also not as active as I usually am, I feel like just walking around, running, being at the gym helps, I take, I don't have to really 
stress to poop, bro. Like, I just poop three times a day, two times a day, like, just regular. But, yeah, other than that, I'm honestly, I'm doing well. Um, I do get pretty tired easily, though. Like, after I finish cleaning something or vacuuming, I'm like, I need to sit down, lay down, my back will hurt. Just feel, like, kind of strained. But, I mean, it's expected. It's day four, day four, going in day, into day five. Sorry about the chair, y'all. Just making noise. But so far so good. I just really wanted to make this update because I I'm editing. I'm probably gonna tie these in. Um, I'll probably just like title it first week recovering after hysterectomy. But I was recording that um video or I was editing it the two days post up I believe, and I was like I can't do this I can't do that and then I'm like damn day four I'm like I can do this do this so I kind of wanted to show the progression of like me not being able to do stuff to me like now not really needing as much assistance but like kind of like I, I can't carry cases of water i can't pick my dog up he's like 45 pounds things like that but yeah you know what i'm saying i could like make myself some food though like i can you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so yeah shout out taylor swift i'm too swift don't tell taylor about that i'm too swift don't tell taylor about that Psh. all right but yeah just wanted to make this. Um, I will see y'all in another update. I might record tomorrow or just whenever, but this is going to be my first week recovering from hysterectomy. So send me love. I'm honestly really good, though. Um, thank you, everyone, that sent me love and your prayers. I'm pretty sure that also helped me recover the way that I did because, yeah, I feel, like, good. Like, I'm really at a point I'm not bleeding anymore. The bleeding honestly stopped at day two. I'm not bleeding. The bloating going down like everything is like calming down um yeah pretty pretty blessed so i'll catch you on the next one i'm gonna probably go sit on the toilet because when i lay down all the gas and like it just compresses and also yeah you get pains in your booty heel i think i said that the gas when it's trapped and it's just all there you get pains in your butthole and they're very sharp pains i don't know if i mentioned that anyways i'm gonna probably go sit on the sun toilet because i need to go poop and I, I need to, I need to, I need to. What up, y'all? So this is day five. I talked to y'all last night. Today, I honestly feel just even better than yesterday. The constipation, I did use the bathroom, pooped. Um, so that's good. Only thing I can say different now is like when I'm laying down at night, I do have like pains in my toes, kind of like in my bones and stuff, my joints. Uh, so I think I really am experiencing like menopause for real, like mildly. And what else? Um, the restroom, I use the restroom. Heat flashes are still happening. Um, and then I also just wake up extremely hungry and like depleted. So. Yeah, like food is a big one, but then when I eat, I feel like I have to use the bathroom, like poop. I think it's just the pressure, like in this area. So, yeah, your like my whole stomach area, your intestines is also in your stomach. So, the, the pee function of myself, the poop function just feels kind of weird right now. Like pooping doesn't feel just like a breeze. I feel like I kind of have to be careful with how hard I push and everything. And peeing since my bladder is right next to my uterus i gotta move like it's different now like peeing doesn't feel the same because everything's still healing i'm about to fart so it's just really simple to look i feel better um not doing too much still like not lifting super heavy i lifted the mop bucket today which i wouldn't recommend um don't do anything you don't have to do you know, if you, like, there's certain things that I just know is probably going to hurt me, so I don't do it. So just know your limits and don't try to push them because if you push them, you're going to end up in the hospital. But yeah, just been taking care of everything I take care of. Just got the pets outside. I was trying to record Pierre. Pierre. Pets present.
Alright y'all, so this is pretty much my incisions. Let's see. So I got four in total. Um, as you can see in this clip, I am super bloated on my side, like stomach area. They did pump gas in me, so that's what that is. So this is the first incision. Uh, we got the second one in my belly button. Third one right there. And then there's a fourth one a little bit lower than all the rest. But uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walking my dog for a bit. Walking myself. I came out here first of all. But I'm just um, kicking it right here. At school. I didn't walk him like around the block for real just because I saw somebody, one of my neighbors is outside. And <clears throat> I could walk him, but if there's any people or like kids or any distractions, I don't have the, I'm not gonna chance it and like try to pull him back. I'm not doing that. So yeah, I literally have him off leash right now. We're just chilling. Um, so yeah, like I could walk <clears throat> and be active. I just ate a meal. I had salmon, brown rice and a salad. So I feel good. I was honestly hungry. I wrote a paper and do not tell you brain work makes you hungry, bro. Like you think just physical activity burns calories or makes you hungry? Nah, bro. Doing homework, thinking about an essay, typing, you're like, <clears throat> I was starved. <clears throat> so I'm here with breath. Just to like, you know what I'm saying? We're not gonna be out here sweating doing crazy workouts how we usually do, but not even crazy, but <clears throat> we're not doing what we usually do but it's still important to just get outside I took my bunny to the backyard he was so happy he was binking and just happy well, what the heck they got the roses gu guarded off and I think this dude is happy to just be outside like outside outside not just in my front or backyard my bunny he's kind of cool with that but he likes going out too but you feel what I'm saying they like being out I think he's about to poop Bro, first of all, can we just look at the Krabby Patty and Spongebob? Bro, someone just rode by on a bike, and I thought my dog was going to chase him. And he didn't. He just watched him pass by, which he doesn't do. He always chases. I don't know if I taught him well or if that was God. Because I was like, bro, please don't, because I cannot chase you. Like, like I didn't know. Like, I literally, my heart dropped to my butt, bro. Like, my adrenaline just, like... That was God for sure though. Cause like my dog was literally just like, like what? We call you like you obey God. Blessings on blessings to you, my dog. You look like doggy. Yesterday was day four. Wednesday, day one. Thursday, day two. Friday, day three. Saturday, day four. Sunday, day five. So day seven is going to be on Tuesday? Tomorrow? Anyways, today's day six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm counting surgery day as day one. Anyways, today is the sixth day. Or today is Monday. I feel pretty good. The only thing that's bothering me right now is I, like my I feel like I have to poop constantly because there's just like except when I use the restroom and like I clear my system out 
but there's just like pressure in that area so like when i first woke up from surgery surgery it felt like i had to pee like it just felt like heavy on my bladder and now it just feels like heavy on my like intestine so it feels like i have to poop and i do be having to poop so that's just what it is um it's not that bad right now but like yeah first thing in the morning like i just need to sit on the toilet and like yeah i need to hydrate more so like i need to hydrate like extra crazy drink celery juice like you just gotta be extra on your digestive system things like eat your veggies drink a lot of water eat your fruit like make sure that you're taking care of yourself because yeah i think it's too because i was actually taking the pain pills i don't usually take pain pills so that probably backed me up too and just like my body's just recovering bro so i just made some beans yeah just like take care of yourself bro drink your smoothies with wild blueberries stuff that's gonna that you know is gonna make you go to the restroom and clear you out like yeah all right that's what i gotta say but yeah i'm waiting for my girl she inside like, getting windshield wiper Professor. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I got these trimmers from Ross, and I just like trimmed up or I cleaned up the side of my my um my cheekbones are so strong. It looks like I had hair on there, but I cleaned up the sides, and honestly, I feel like a new man. Like I just literally cleaned up this and like the back because I'm growing my hair out and. Yeah, I don't want to do too much. Like, I sometimes I get like high tapers or whatever, but I'm just chilling. I've just been really doing like, y'all know what I've been doing. I've been vlogging a couple days here and there, but I just got out of class as you can see. Uh, today is day six. Yesterday was day six, but I'm gonna count this as day six because tomorrow is Wednesday and I got my surgery Wednesday. So day seven will be Wednesday, the week from my actual surgery. But yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, I'm actually gonna try to drive today. I want to go to Whole Whoops, my camera, um, my GoPro ran out of storage. But I'm gonna go get some steak and just like ribs, like I want some red meat. Uh, so that's what we're gonna go do. I literally have just been eating chicken and salmon. But yeah, I'm probably gonna go do that. I got some chicken thighs in the fridge. Oh, I've been eating this chicken thighs. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna go do that. I just wanted to let y'all see me. Uh, I'll update y'all tomorrow or later on today. All right, what's good everybody? So I am a week post-op. I feel really good as y'all can see. I'm about to go out with my mom. Um, I wanted to show y'all my incisions real quick just to see how, show y'all how they're healing. So again, I got laparoscopic hysterectomy, total hysterectomy, everything out, ovaries, uterus, cervix, fallopian tubes, all that. So, as you can see, they're pretty much already gone, bro. This one is a little bit, um, you can see it. There's one right here, there's one right here, and there's one right here. This one is almost gone. So, so to be honest, it's really not that bad. Like, everything is healing up really well. And I'm super appreciative of that. Uh, shout out to God for real, because, like, my recovery was pretty smooth. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was pretty smooth. I feel great. Like, okay, considering you're not gonna feel the best two days out from surgery, you're not gonna feel the best three days out from surgery, but for being a week, I had surgery on Wednesday, today is Wednesday, and I feel great. I'm about to go out with my mom, we're about to go eat, I'm about to go shoot a music video, I'm about to just have a good day. As you can see, I'm fitted, but I'm profusely dripping sweat, I don't know. So the only thing that's weird right now is like my regulation of temperature. Like I'll be really hot, but it's not that hot in here. And I'll be really like, it's, yeah, just regulation of temperature. Like right now, I'm profusely sweating. So I'm gonna actually go because I might just be excited to actually get on the road. So let's go.